This year, my goal is to try as many local Orlando restaurants as possible. I wanna try new cuisines and explore local flavors. Today, we're at Lodi Plaza Market to check out some local Asian spots. Lodi Market is located in Orlando, only about 30 minutes away from Walt Disney World property. It's an Asian supermarket boasting a food court that I hear is incredible. Today, we're gonna be trying a ton of food from the local spots in the food court, as well as going on a little bit of a shopping spree. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Recently, my comfort TV has been watching um, people go to Japanese, Korean convenience stores, 7-Eleven. I have been loving watching that type of content. So I figured I wanted to kind of like make my own to start this new local Orlando series. I've been so excited to come out here. I come to the market all the time and I shop at the supermarket. I love coming here. I have my staples that I always get, but I've never actually eaten at the food court. So this is a first for me and everything looks really good so far. I am having a really tough time deciding what I kind of want to get because like I said, I've been watching videos of uh, people visiting, traveling to Japan and eating this type of cuisine for quite a while and it all just looks so good to me. This is what's kind of holding me over until I get to visit Japan myself. There are six spots to kind of choose from if you want to dine in the food court. Um, five of them are kind of like food and then there's a boba tea place in the center area. So we're going to kind of pick and choose, see what I'm going to get. Um, like I said, I'm having a really tough time deciding. Okay, so I think I've narrowed down my list. Um, so what happens is you go up and order at whatever restaurant you're wanting to get food from, and they'll give you like a pager, a little buzzer, and um, they'll buzz it when you're ready. So I got food from three different places. So I have three little buzzers here, and I'm just waiting for them to buzz, and then we're gonna go pick up our food. I'm here with my roommate, Molly. Man, did we get the spread. We've been looking forward to coming here for a while together. Is it your first time here? No. No, you've been here before? Yeah. Have you eaten in the food court? Yeah. Okay, so you got the bulgogi here. Mm -hmm. Molly's working with the bulgogi, and then she also got Classic. some fried dumplings. Molly is like a bulgogi fiend. Like, that that's like her like, favorite thing it's ever. It's <laughs> For real. So <laughs> If I were at like Korean barbecue, I don't care what else we get as long as we have the food. And like I said, I decided to go with food from three different places. So right here is the chicken katsu curry. Um, it has obviously so many things that come with it. You have the fried chicken there, some slaw. I don't know, that looks like maybe some pickled radish over there. We also have a little soup. Here is the curry, some rice, a sauce, and then maybe this is like kimchi radish. This dish is from Izzyvon Katsu, which is actually the restaurant right behind me here. And let me tell you, this looks really good. I've never had Japanese curry before, and I've had heard so many amazing things about it. So I figured I had to get this one to try. And also before I get any further into this video, I do wanna apologize if I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly. I'm going to be doing my best, um, but there's a lot of things that I'm not really exactly sure how to pronounce. So please bear with me, I'm trying my best. But next up, I did decide to get the orange green tea with um, some lychee jelly in there from the bubble tea shop or boba tea shop which is right over there and then finally the thing i am looking forward to trying the most the taboki with cheese from seol soon tofu <laughs> this looks so good the cheese taboki in all of the videos that i'm seeing when um, people are traveling to japan and korea and stuff look so good I actually have been buying like the, the pre-made one, the one in the little bowl that you can get at the convenience stores here at the market for quite a while now. But I've never had it like from a local homemade spot and I am, I love rice cakes. Like when we go to like Hot Pot, when me and my roommate Molly go to Hot Pot and stuff, I just load up on rice cakes. Like she gets all the bulgogi for the Korean barbecue and I get all the rice cakes for my Hot Pot because I love it so much. And this is about to be an experience because this is like a traditional with cheese, oh, it looks so good. Let's start the meal with a sip of my orange green tea here. Oh my God, I almost dropped it. Oh, that's good. Ooh, some of the jelly in there, that's so refreshing. I imagine on a hot summer day, this would just be perfect. And I cannot sit at my table any longer with this Taboki looking at me. It just, oh my God, it looks so good. We have to dive into that next. I am hoping for a crazy cheese pull right now. We'll see.
this is everything I imagined it would be and more. That sauce has like a little kick. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of like pizza. Because this it kind of looks like a tomato like sauce here with just a little bit of spice. Actually, pretty good amount of spice. And then I'm pretty sure this is mozzarella cheese on there. It almost reminds me of pizza. This is fantastic. I just love the texture of rice cakes. I, it's like seriously become one of my favorite foods. And when you mix it with that spicy tomato -y sauce and the cheese, oh, it is just to die for. They also have an option for you to get it without the cheese if your stomach can't handle it. But I definitely recommend you try it with the cheese if you can. I really like the size of the rice cakes that they're using as well. I'm gonna look for these back in the supermarket um, when we go over there to go shopping. Um, I almost wish there was maybe like a little less cheese because there is truly like a ton, a ton, a ton of cheese. Like they don't skimp on that at all. Um, and yeah, it, as someone who's never tried this before, I, I think I would compare it to like pizza. It kind of tastes like that. Molly is letting me try some of her bulgogi here. I wanna get a little bit of that beef and we'll try that out. We literally just went to like a Korean barbecue um, hot pot place and we got a ton of this. So we'll see if it's, it should be better than that. I love the sweetness in there. It's like sweet onion flavor. It's really, really good. So Molly's bulgogi and her dumplings that she got are from a place in here called Joen. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly. And she's letting me try a dumpling as well. Oh. <laughs> the outside is so, it's like literally deep fried. It's so good. The pork in there is super flavorful, but what I really love is seriously the amount of fry that that outside wrapper has. The, the dumpling itself is delicious. I'm honestly contemplating getting some of them and bringing them home for dinner later. <laughs> Next up, it's katsu time. And what I really love about this, first of all, it was pretty expensive. It was like over $20 for this meal. But they do give you like a ton of things. I love that they include soup with it. They have rice. They have um, some of that, I, what I think is the kimchi radish. A couple other sauces. So there is a, a really good amount of food. There's also a ton of chicken on this platter as well. So we're going to dig into it. First, we'll try the soup. I believe it's just like, is this a miso soup? Looks like it. Like a some type of clear soup. I love soup like this. I find it. Yeah, I don't even see it on the menu, but. It looks like it's a, yeah, I think it's just a miso. That's all I can do. I could just have this and be happy, honestly. But time for the curry. Like I said, my first time ever having Japanese curry. I've heard so many good things. We'll dip it in that sauce there. That is pretty good. Okay. First of all, the chicken katsu itself is just so thin and crispy. Fries perfection there. I absolutely love that. And then the sauce, I didn't know how I would like it because I don't usually like curry. But I feel like this is such like a different flavor of curry than any I've ever tried before. Like it's so different from Indian curry. I like it and what I'm very happy that they didn't like um, drown the chicken in this because it allows you to just dip it in there so you can put as much as you want of the sauce um and also then it, the chicken doesn't get like soggy the chicken stays crispy the whole time so i really like that they gave you the sauce on the side i don't know if that's like standard and something that always happens yeah it's not right it, you, it usually like comes on it right but i like it on the side here so it'll be the rice the chicken the curry on top mm -hmm. of all of it yeah, I like it served like this. Another thing that I really love about the chicken katsu itself is how juicy the chicken is. I'm, I'm like 99% positive they're using chicken breast in this dish. And usually that'll like dry out sometimes. I know when I make chicken cutlets, um, it stays juicy. But a lot of times like the chicken breast dries out. So this is like a super juicy chicken breast. Um, fried perfectly, like I said, man. It is good. They did have an option to get the katsu as pork or cheese, um, and you could also get it without the curry or with the curry, but I wanted to try something different, and I'm very happy I did because I found a new food that I really enjoy. I want to try some of this, what I think is kimchi radish next. I don't know. I'm obsessed 
with the kimchi that they serve in the supermarket over here. And this is really good too. Another thing that I would just get a whole entire like bowl of this to go and bring this back with me. It's really good. And then last thing we have on the table here is this brown sauce. I'm not really too sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna dip a piece of chicken in here. I think we can find out. It's cold. Mm. The katsu sauce. This sauce is so good. Oh my god. This sauce, wow. I might like this sauce even better than the curry. It's sweet, it's vinegary, it almost reminds me of like a sweet and sour type of sauce. Apparently it's called katsu sauce, but oh my god. Oh good. Molly, you just finished all your food, how was it? It was amazing, like always, um, big fan. I you really can't go wrong with bulgogi. And those dumplings, those dumplings were like the Surprisingly sleeper hit. Surprisingly good. I love a dumpling. I usually get a dumpling as like a side just to have something extra. Um, but they were a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. So I want to win. Well, we are gonna finish up the rest of our lunch here, and after we do that, we're gonna head up into the supermarket. So make sure you stick around because there is so much amazing stuff in there to explore. All right, we are taking our boba tea to go. Cheers, Millie. Cheers. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit the road shopping. Is that beignet mix? Wait, 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 wait. Is this Cafe Du Monde beignet mix? Oh, coffee. Okay, coffee. I was like, that is bizarre to be here, but they have Cafe Du Monde coffee in case you are interested. The produce section is ginormous, and they have a ton of fruits that you've probably never even heard of before. When I came here. A couple months back with my sister, we actually ended up trying like three different fruits that we had never tried before, so that was really awesome. Um, but yeah, we're gonna skip the produce today. I don't need much of that. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through some of like my classics, my things that I get here every time. And who knows, we might try some new things as well. I'm, I always love trying new things, so let's see what we can find. So they have all of this prepared like seafood here that you could just eat raw. And I was wanting some salmon as well, but they only have like bigger pieces, but they do have a smaller piece of tuna. So I think I'm gonna pick up a package of this. Should I get 12? I don't know, this one kind of, I don't know which one looks best. This one, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Or that like 16 one, but that's yeah, the, the one that's 16 bucks back there looks really good, but a little too much. I might eat this for dinner later. Now, I've never like actually cut up sashimi for myself, so I wish I had like pre-sliced. I think they might, but they might like be out. The shelf is a little bare, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll try this out. I'm, I'm gonna try and like do a little taste test when I get home and try all these different foods for you guys. Another big draw of coming to Lodi Market is all of the fresh seafood that you can find. They have just live blue crabs a whole tub of them. Some of them don't look too alive though, I must say. <laughs> um, but the, oh, oysters. Oh, I love oysters. I wish I knew how to shuck them. But yeah, there is so much seafood. Look at this kingfish. Oh my God, that thing is huge. Of course, we've got like all these uh, seafood, the fish fillets here, plenty of salmon, catfish, tilapia. And then, oh yeah, if you want, you can just grab a whole, a whole blue mackerel too. A whole tilapia. Molly, I'm gonna get you that tilapia and just hide it under your pillow. I'm really so tempted to get some oysters right now. I follow this guy on TikTok that um, shucks oysters all the time. I feel like I could do it, I just don't have a shucking knife. Like, I wonder where I would get one of them. If I'm walking around here and I see a shucking knife, I'm getting some oysters because they're only like $4.99 a pound. I don't know how many oysters would be in a pound. That seems really cheap because I'm used to paying like $5 for one oyster at the boathouse in Disney Springs, so. Uh, I might be coming back for some oysters, we'll see. They also have like all of the meats that you can possibly ever think of. If you're looking to do like your own hot pot or Korean barbecue type of thing, uh, yeah, this is where you should come. Molly, look at all this bulgogi, 8.90. 8.90 for all this bulgogi. <laughs> She's backing up, backing up, backing up. Look at it, right here. It's only $8.90. Is it coming home? Oh my god, is this Wagyu beef? Look at this Wagyu beef. Only $15 that can What? Okay, we found even better. They have like pre-marinated bulgogi. Oh my god. 
This stuff looks so, I'm like drooling and I'm so full. Thank God we ate before we went shopping. That was a very smart move on my part because if I don't do that, I end up buying way too much. So I'm very happy we did. Although I'm still gonna buy way too much because this all looks so good. We are coming up on one of my favorite sections, the rice cake section, and they have so many. This is just like some of them. And it's such a good price too. $3.99 for this is not bad. You're coming home with me. Three nine. Actually, this bag has like dust on it. Let me get a different one. This one is coming home with me. This kind of has dust on it too. Oh well. What'd you find? You find the oh the buns and stuff. Oh, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult to walk by. They ha have all of like the milk milk buns and stuff like that. Oh, and the mochi. The mochi, oh my god, I got these ones last time and they were really good. I kind of want to try something, maybe the melon ones. Melon mochi sounds really good. I might try that. Oh, this is what I want. What is that? This one is uh, a red bean like cake. Oh, interesting. So I kind of want to try one. These are like pre-packaged. I don't, the issue is I don't know what they say. Um, that one. What do we think, that, that might be the melon one. Like that melon? Yeah, this is like, I know that, well actually, this, if you want that's like- That's sesame, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know what these are. I think I might all, just go with the melon, because I could read that. <gasps> Mango! Oh, but this one's like kind of busted open. Okay, so my roommate says this is just like a regular red bean mochi, so I'm gonna get this one here to try it out and uh, see how it is. I'm gonna do a little taste test with oh this. Oh my gosh, wait, what are these ones? The, are these like fresh ones that they made here? They have a ton of like fresh prepared food. Give up! Oh my god, I wanted that. I'm gonna have to go get that. But look at they have all of these dumplings. I've actually tried these pork dumplings before. I didn't love them. The kimchi pancakes, Molly. I'm interested in them. Oh, they have some. Look it, you could just get like chicken cutlet. You could just get like katsu here. Roasted salmon, pork feet, Korean sausage. This back here is what I am here for for sure. I want to see what's in it though. Two rolls. Lav what is dried lavier? I gotta Google what some of that stuff is. But there's another one. Oh, a kimchi hand roll. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the ingredients are, but um, we're gonna get it and try this out. I've really been wanting to try um, food like this, so I'm, I'm super excited for this later. Okay, this is like, I know I've been saying this about everything, but this is like my actual, actual favorite section. The fresh, homemade kimchi. I absolutely love this. They have a bunch of different sizes that you can choose from. If you just wanted to try it out, uh, you could get this size. All of them will be around like, eight, nine, ten dollars. Um, and then they also have a bigger size, which I think I'm gonna need. Last time I was here, I just got that smaller size of kimchi and I ate it all in like less than 24 hours. So I need to upgrade to the bigger one this time. This one looks good. You're coming home with me. And then they also have like a ton of other like Asian sides here. Um, you'll see there's a ton of like pickled veggies and stuff. Um, literally anything you can think of they have. $24 worth of kimchi. This is all gonna be gone between the two of us. <laughs> In, it's not that bad. It's oh, fresh. It's so good. See, what I did is made I made the mistake of having the kimchi, the homemade kimchi from here, as my first ever time having kimchi, and now I don't really love other kimchi's because this one is just so good that like it puts all other kimchi's to shame. Honestly, um, it is so spicy though, so it's not for the weak. But if you can handle spice. You must try it. I think I'm gonna skip on it this time, but if you're in the mood for it, they also have these roasted sweet potatoes here that, that you can get. This is like candy. Like these are so good. I love getting them. I put them in the mic. I, sometimes I don't even microwave them. You don't even need to. They're just so good. Just peel them and eat them. Oh my God. But now for the moment of truth. Will they have the carbonara ramen? They do, I think. <sighs> the best if you guys have been on tiktok recently i'm sure you have seen all of this ramen all over the place but especially this one and i've been getting it for a while now and then it became popular on tiktok and the last time i came they did not have this one um so i'm very happy that they have it again because this is the best this carbonara ramen are you gonna get it to try 
you, I told you my thing with carbonara. Molly doesn't no, like carbonara, but you should. You gotta try the bulldog. The you got just get a different flavor of it. It's so good. This is like the best ramen you are gonna find anywhere. It's all over TikTok shop, but I get it. I get it from straight from the source from Lodi Market. You're coming home with me. It's spicy. It is spicy. So they also have like single packets here. So if you just wanted to try it, you don't know if you like it yet. Um, you could just get like the single packets of the ramen here. And um, I've only had the carbonara and I've had the cheese before. I like both. I have the kimchi at home and I kind of want to try this one too. I hear it's like a uh, Korean barbecue flavor almost. So I might get one packet of that to go to try this one out. I follow this girl on TikTok who actually got a Bulldog ramen uh, advent calendar and she ate one a day and it was like a surprise and she opened it up and I remember her really liking this one here. So it's perfect that they only serve like, they serve like one pack so I can just try it if I don't like it. I don't have to eat it, and if I do like it, I'll come back and get the big pack of it. So, excited to try this one. All right, she got the one packet to try, and Mo how obsessed with this ramen have I been lately? Molly, actually, for Christmas, she got me a little hot pot to cook it in, and like a little bowl set and stuff. You needed bowls. I did need it. I did need it, and now look at that. I have a whole pack to eat in the new cooker. I'm gonna cook a pack in it, finally. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna cook a pack in that. Yes. We have to use it. We actually prefer the strawberry one. Straw have you had it before? Yeah. I oh. worked at the Japan Pavilion. Oh, yeah, like strawberry one is the best? In my opinion. Okay, so I'm wanting to try new things. So I'm like look, exploring the aisles, trying to find new things. I see this melon drink and this mango drink. Molly used to work in the Japan Pavilion. She says the strawberry is the best. Okay, I'll try this. Is it good? Oh yeah. It's good? It's okay. Like kind of like a... It's a non-carbonated uh, beverage. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. But it's well, good. we'll see. Okay, never mind. I was gonna get strawberry, but uh, they also have lychee, so I'm gonna get I'm the lychee. Strawberry. You're getting a strawberry. Okay, I'm I'll get, get lychee. It is taking everything in me not to pull a Trisha Paytas and get some Korean uh, corn dogs here, Korean cheese dogs. I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna resist. Molly drove separately and had to leave me, but look at what I just found. Beef bulgogi steamed soup dumplings. I was looking for some soup, dump, soup dumplings. Beef bulgogi flavor is perfect. I'm gonna bring these home and surprise Molly with them. I think she is going to love them. And if you enjoy watching the Japanese convenience store videos like me, they do have some of those like coffees um, that you can get here. I wish they had the cups with the ice in them, but they do have a couple options for like the coffees that they usually pour in the cups of ice. It looks like someone drank some of that and put it back, ew. But uh, yeah, they have a ton of drinks to choose from here as well. A creamy iced coffee up there. All right, and finally to round it out, I was looking for these specific like chips that I keep seeing all over TikTok. I didn't find them, but I did find these sweet and extra hot prawn crackers. So I think I'm gonna try them out. And I think that is the haul for the day. As you can see, we've got a ton of stuff there. So I'm gonna head back home, check out, head back home, and then I'm gonna try this stuff out for you guys. $83 later. We're finally out of the store. Um, we've been in there for quite a while, but I love coming here and just like perusing every single aisle. I like going through everything. So all the stuff in there is so awesome. I just love like looking through everything that I could potentially get. And I always end up going so overboard because it is kind of out of the way for me. It's about around 30 minutes away. So I don't ever come to this side of town. I'm not ever here often. Um, so when I do come, I make the most of it. But I do love coming. Like if you guys are in the um, Disney, if you guys are visiting Disney or in the Orlando area, I definitely say coming to Lode Market is definitely worth the trip, especially if you've never been to an Asian market before. Like this is the first one that I had that I had ever been to, and I think it's a great place. I, I it's like another Disney for me. Like I, I, I love coming here. Well, I have made it home, and I want to do a little haul. I'll show you guys everything that I got. Um, starting off with this stuff. I ended up getting some lo mein noodles. Lo mein is like one of my favorite dishes to get at Chinese restaurants. So I figured maybe I'd try and make my own. So I got some dry lo mein noodles. I got this lychee drink to try here. It looks really, good. actually let's just pop it open and try it. It's not cold, so I don't know how it's gonna be. That is very good. It's made by the same people that make the Asai beer, A-S-A-H-I. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's interesting. 
this is really good. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge and drink the rest of it later. What else? Oh, we got the, the kimbap. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Let's bust this open and try a piece of this actually. They gave me chopsticks in here, so that's pretty helpful. I've never had this before. Um, it says that there is dried laver, steamed rice, carrot, eggs, spinach, pickled radish, sesame oil, and salt in here. So let's test it out. And I'm pretty sure you like eat this at room temperature. I don't know. That's very good. I love the pickled radish in there. Uh oh. Did I just eat mayo? Is there mayo in this? I might have just gotten mayoed. I prefer not to think about that, but I will not be eating anymore. Um, I does not say anything mayo on that, so that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> um, let's try this red bean cake now. It's like a mochi. I've had red bean once before. I didn't love it, um, but I'm excited to try it again. Just like with the rice cakes, I just love the texture of mochi. It's like a sweet red bean paste. This is way better than the first time that I had red bean. I had it in like a bun. I actually really like this. This is good. I'm gonna save it for later though, cause I'm still full from our lunch. I'm gonna put that in a bag and save it for later. Let's continue with this haul here. Now, of course, you guys saw, I got my $25 container of kimchi. And trust me when I say this, this will only take me like two or three days to eat, try a piece on cam. Oh. This is the greatest kimchi ever. It's so spicy. My mouth is already on fire and I've only had one piece. Mmm. I just gotta power through though. It is so good. All right. I gotta wrap it up. Video. <laughs> I would literally just sit here and eat this entire thing. I think if I could only get one thing at Lodi Market, it would be this. I, I don't, I do not think there's a better kimchi around. I, I can't imagine there being. If there is, let me know in the comments because I would love to try it. All right, next up, we've got the uh, wild, raw, wild caught tuna. This is kind of expensive, um, but I'm gonna probably eat this on up for dinner. Um, I'm gonna slice it up. Like I said, I've never like sliced up raw fish before and eat it, but I kind of want to, so. I'm excited for that. Also, of course, my rice cakes. I just keep these in the fridge and then anytime I make any of my bulldog ramen, I put a bunch in there and like the last minute of the cooking, I just put these in there and then I have ramen and rice cakes. Best of both worlds. And I was running very low on them. I actually think I was out of them. So I'm happy that I have more now. And finally, our beef bulgogi steamed soup dumplings. I don't think I'm gonna eat one right now because I'm very full, too full for a dumpling, but I'm excited to see how these are. Um, I'm wondering if you've ever had them. So let me know in the comments if you've had um, these beef bulgogi ones before. Um, I'm gonna eat these with my roommate Molly because I already know she's gonna be very happy that I got those. Last bag here, we've got our carbonara ramen. 
You already know how I feel about that. I was looking for, um, they also have the Bulldog Carbonara, like, Taboki in, like, a little cup that you usually get from, like, the uh, Korean convenience stores and stuff. But they didn't have it this time. I, I always get that. I always get a bunch of them. And another thing that's, like, gone in a couple days when I go there. Um, but, yeah, they didn't have it this time. So I just stuck with the ramen. Then I got this other Bulldog flavor. Jijin? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but yeah, it's a Korean black bean sauce ramen. Like I said, that girl that I follow on TikTok with the uh, Bulldog advent calendar likes this one. So I wanted to try it. And then lastly, this was kind of like a last minute pickup. I was looking for a certain like snack cracker, but the ones I was looking for, I didn't know the name of and I didn't see them. So I just got these. They're a prawn cracker, sweet and extra hot flavor. I don't know how these are gonna be, but let's crack them open and try. Is this, is this bag like impossible to open or is it just me? Okay, let's try the other side. There we go. That's really good. I'm surprised it says extra hot flavor because I don't think it's like spicy really at all. Whatever it is, delicious. I opened it on the opposite side, so this is the brand. This is what the bag looks like. This is a good snack. This is my first time trying these. Um. They may become a staple for me now. Really good. Well, what a time exploring our first local Orlando restaurant and market. It was kind of like a two for one. You got like a little shopping spree, a shopping spree action, and some local restaurants. It was actually a three for, four for one because I tried three restaurants and a market. Okay, that's a lot. We ate a lot today. Um, and yeah, what a time. Before I head out, I've got some Patreon subscribers to thank. Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Missy, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John Paul, Leah, Tracy, Armando, the Latham Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Danielle and Marcel, Erica, Linda, Mike, Christina, Brittany, the Calcanes family, Chelsea, Pickle, Travis, the Martell family, Catherine, Ethan, Tori, Anne, and Steven. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm so happy. I was able to go out to Lode Plaza Market today and try all of that awesome food. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite thing to get at an Asian market, an Asian supermarket like that is because I'm always looking to try new things, expand my palate, and um, discover new flavors. I really love trying different kinds of food. Um, so again, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you always get from an Asian supermarket that I should try next time I go. And also, let me know if there's any other spots in Orlando that you recommend I try out. I'm looking for local, family-owned, authentic restaurants. Not chains. I got a lot of suggestions for like Cheddar's, which is a chain, Bahama Breeze, which is a chain. I've gotten a lot of suggestions for chains when I posted on my Instagram story looking for local places, but I am looking to discover local dives, local family owned places with incredible food. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any and there's gonna be a lot more local Orlando spots coming your way very soon. I'll see you guys later, bye.